Hello everyone, this is Pascal, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. Today I will, uh, it's actually a review of something I've done before, showing the network uh, that we deploy here in Quebec. Uh, but let's make a recap. Uh, you probably saw this diagram before, but just to show you actually uh, what we have done. Uh, we have linked permanently, uh, permanently uh, the DV4 mini uh, network with the Yezu Wirex uh, network. Actually, the Yezu WireX network uh, require uh, to have a mobile like a FTM 400, a FTM 100, and a HRI 200 box to be able to reach the uh, fusion network uh, from Yezu, which is called WireX. You can also co connect the HRI 200 to a repeater, but it's not completely compatible yet. So you need to connect it and keep the software in analog. So that is limiting you to uh, transit uh, any uh, digital data uh, through the network. So it's a limited, limited interconnection. In the future, there will be an upgrade that uh, this will be com fully compatible. If you receive your DR1X after the 20th of December uh, of 2015, you are already uh, compatible to do so. But in the meantime, with the latest update that we have on last Christmas, on the 25th December of 2015, uh, the version 1.00M, you're able to do a remote link with your FTM 400 or FTM 100 to a WireX box, so uh, which is the HRI 200. Doing an RF link have a lot of benefit. Most of us, the repeater that we add on top of mountains, uh, don't have any internet access. So what happens is uh, you need to uh, to have the uh, FTM 400 or the FTM 100 to do the link via RF. So that's very useful. On the other end here, what we have is the DV4 mini uh, network, uh, which use a different uh, network uh, system to elaborate uh, or communicate in C4 FM. We're using the reflector FCS001, uh, port 50, which is the only one reflector for now, which is located in Germany. Uh, like said before, this uh, give us a little bit of delay, but it's still working pretty well. So the uh, DV4 mini network uh, is connected to my repeater V2 PVR where there is a DV4 mini set up at the uh, repeater frequency. So let me do the demonstration. What we have here is the WireX software with all the repeater that is connected. And what we have is the DV4 mini uh, software which is set up to my repeater frequency. If you look at my radio here, the small HT, it is at 446275. That's a simplex frequency of another DV4 mini on a Raspberry Pi that I have in the shack. And you have my FT991, which is connected to, uh, well, it, at my, uh, actually my repeater frequency. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transmit with the little HT and you're going to see that it's going to go through the DV4 mini network to reach the WireX network to be retransmitted. VA2 PV testing. There you go. So it's going from the simplex frequency to the Raspberry Pi, to the Raspberry Pi, to the network, to the network, to my other uh, DV4 mini on my PC, which transmitted on my repeater frequency, and then it goes to WireX network. I'll do the reverse. VA2 PV testing. Then you're going to see, hold on, I'm just going to switch in the end. VA2 PV testing, testing 1, 2, VA2 PV, you can see my repeater and my call sign on the other side as well. So this concludes my video for today. Hope you enjoy. On behalf of our team, I would like to wish you my best 73 and a happy new year. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.